may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all, my fellow KPC. Thanks be to God for giving me this opportunity to deliver on this topic, which was prepared by our leader, Brother Eli and Brother Danny. Now we are going to learn uh, about an important topic and for us to learn them and identify the two church because nowadays many churches are built and their names were uh, names were given to them uh Pentecost, Manalo Church, uh, Roman Catholic and now the church are many so how can we identify that is what we are going to learn according to the bible so let us move on to the topic why the church of god is that we should all join in from all places and all time is only one according to the bible KNCs, this topic is very uh, important topic so we have to listen carefully so for us to know and identify the true church we must study or read the, the things that are written in the bible so for us to understand let us move by this question which church does the bible assure us that in christ Jesus? let us read in ephesians 2 verse 20 and are built upon the foundation of apostle and prophet, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So you see, the chief, uh, the chief cornerstone, which the Bible is talking about there is Christ Jesus. Even the apostle and prophets are built upon that cornerstone. What other verse prove that Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone and even the apostle are built upon him? Let us read in Matthew 16, verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the rock over there is the, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the chief cornerstone. So uh, we can hear uh, many pastors are saying that Peter is the rock that God has built here, his church. But it's not like that because Jesus is the uh, cornerstone. So even, even the apostle and even the Peter is one of the apostles. That the, even the uh, Peter is one of the apostles and prophets which are built upon Jesus, which is the chief cornerstone. Now, we have seen that the only church that we have to join at all places and all time is only one, and Jesus Christ is the foundation of that church. Then, now, my question is, which, who built the church? Let us read in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28. And God has said some in the church. First, the apostle, secondary, prophets, thirdly, teachers, after that, miracles, then gift of healing, health, government, diversity of tongues. So we can now identify that if somebody owns something, the name of the person might be added to what he is own. So now we can find out that the church is built is built upon Christ and Christ Father is God. So now we can identify that that church is for God and we must call it the church of God. So on this topic we have learned that Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone and the church belongs to God. So that is the that is why the church we must all join in all places and all time is only one. So that church is belong to God. So that's why we are in the members' church of God International. Thanks be to God.